What's up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Home on the Range. Today, we're going to do some upgrades. Look at that. Is that not the sweetest thing that you've ever seen? I mean, that's so sweet. Because, you know, my AR wasn't customized enough. <laughs> so Dan got me a birthday present. Yep, I've been looking for this barrel. This barrel matches her matches her bolt carrier group. I got this from uh, Mid-State Firearms. Um, and uh, literally, if you look back, the first time that we got this stuff from Offhand Gear was when I started looking for this barrel. And I just found it two weeks ago. I... I saw it one day, ordered it, and hours later they were already sold out. They have many, 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 many different variants, variances of this, and they make all kinds of barrels. And uh, this was the one that I was really, really looking for. I wanted the diamond cut and everything, and uh, I think it's going to look just... Uh, Super, well, there you go, banging around right away, right? Because <laughs> you know how I am, I like to just thrash my firearms. So, um, let's, uh, let's take this apart. Again, this is all the, the custom parts that she has on here. So this is a, uh, this is a M&P Sportsman 2 AR, originally. Um, so the upper and the lower and the buffer tube are all original. Otherwise, so before the battery went dead and rudely interrupted me, <laughs> um, so uh, this this whole rifle here is a it's a Smith and Wesson M and P um, original rifle um, Sportsman II. Uh, the upper, the lower, and the buffer tube are oh, and the barrel are pretty much the only thing that are left from that from that gun. So, um, this is all offhand gear. Um, the, the grip is uh, Magpul, and this is Magpul, but this is, this is offhand gear, custom made from Unique ARs, and it is Cerakoted from, uh, what is the name of it? Coated Arms. Yes, Coated That's Arms. That's what it is. That's Coated what it arms. is. Good I'm job. sorry. I'm sorry, guys. We always screw it up, so we didn't want to screw it up again. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Um, then Timber Creek. So, yep. So then uh, the this is Timber Creek. All this all this bright purple is Timber Creek. Um, the bolt carrier group is uh, is like I said from uh, Mid State Firearms. She's so beautiful. Yeah, the lighting's not great down here because we just decided we were just going to sh start shooting while <laughs> so I was So we did, it apart. and we did get this custom, I can't remember what company that was from, but we're changing that out. Yeah, so that'll be the, that'll be this, like, the... So, I mean, we basically have enough parts to do, <laughs> to make another. <laughs> uh, no, we do not, Mr. ATF officer. <laughs> I have gotten rid of all of that. I don't know where it is. Lost it fishing. It fell off the pontoon. All right. Well, I know everything's not reefed down, so um, let's tear this apart the rest of the way and get this barrel on here. And let's see. Little Mr. Allen Bolt. So Carissa doesn't think the super, super high-pitched ping when uh, when the bolt carrier group drops is cool. I beg to differ. It's, it's just awesome. it's just loud. That's I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, 
This uh, this must be dirty. I think it's dirty. A little bit. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> I was so focused on seeing how dirty it was that half your face was gone. <laughs> Half my face was gone. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, the last time I went to the range, I don't think we... We always are very... We clean our guns. Like, we take very good care of our guns. No, we but don't. the last time, I think, that Wait, you why had... Are you, why are you lying? To yes, we board. do. We did at first, and now I just kind of... Don't. You argue with me on a channel. <laughs> I have... I literally have... A lot to clean. Seven guns to clean right now. Yeah, but also, you haven't been home. Well... Somebody else could always clean those. Right? Right, guys? Right? Hey, I help. What do you help with? I help clean the ones that I can do. I mean, I know I can do them all. It's just normally you, you just do it. But I have a really hard time with the SIG pulling that apart, that one piece. For some reason. That's what that's for. That's what you are for. <laughs> Already tell you Lefty Lucy. See, ladies and gentlemen, that's why you don't reef your stuff down. Because you're going to tear it apart again. Because the first time pulling that apart? No, the first time for both this and for my uh, my pistol was just ridiculousness absolutely ridiculousness I got yelled at for no reason <laughs> takes his brunt of his anger out on me I'm doing the, I'm doing it backwards I suppose I should put all of our little mini guns away, yeah? I just have had fun looking at them. I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want to do. If anybody has any ideas, comment. Yeah, there you I go. I was thinking about maybe hanging some of those uh, little like wood shelves from the wall and setting the ones that we don't have the rack for on them. You know what I could do is I could make Oh yeah, that's filthy. We didn't even shoot it that much. Liz and I shot it. I didn't clean it after that. Oh. I think I only put one magazine through. So do I have like the most beautiful gun ever? <laughs> um, I mean... Maybe. <laughs> I'm telling you. I, I think it's pretty sweet. I don't know if I need this nut or not. We shall see. We shall see. Like it was made for it. You like his sound effects? Comment below. I'm just kidding. <laughs> More sound effects, please. Don't want to tighten that down until I clean this up and then put it back on. You don't have to read it. And what I'm going to use is I'm going to use my Shooter Lube Stage 1 Cleaner. I'm just going to spray a little bit on there. That's going to break up all that uh, break up all that bad carbon. And you know, obviously being in the gas block too, it's going to um, 
It's going to restrict me trying to get it back on there. So I'll first I'll use the stage one, then I'll use the stage two to lube it back up. And uh, she should uh, slide right in like uh, like money. We really like that stuff, except for there's no good gunwale smell. Yeah. Maybe we should ask them if they can make a. But, you have an option. But for hunters. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. I mean, that's you don't want that. It works really well, though. We've been happy with it. It really does. So. Um, what this stuff does is, it's, I would say it's harsh, but I think that's probably the wrong word to use because you don't want to be putting harsh stuff on your weapons. Um, I would say this is, uh, just a really good solvent. It's not something that you spray and forget. You know, you want to... Man, I really do have that carbon up pretty good, don't I? Um, you want to get the solvent on there, get it nice and clean, and then, and then put your stage 2 on. And I've said it before, I'll say it again, I'm no gunsmith, but uh, fairly well-maintained firearm is uh, it's a happy firearm. And you don't really want your, God forbid, you don't really want your uh, life depending on a, a dirty, dirty boomstick. So... Don't be like us and neglect the many firearms that we have. <clears throat> so again, a little bit of shooter lube on there to moisten the metal up. Oh, that's a little too much. But that's okay. Perfect. Really, when you're oiling your gun, you just you just want the metal moist. You don't really want to see a glistening of it. So what I'll do is now I'll just kind of dab it. A little, a little bit of a wipe. Cool the whip. Cool the whip. See. It just, just a little bit, yeah. just a little bit of a glisten. It's brand new. Easy. Be scratching my freaking new barrel. Your barrel. You heard me. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's yours is mine, right? What's no. mine is yours. Just... Well. <laughs> I'll accept that. And get that straight. Because, uh, if you don't, she'll mar up your bolt carrier group and your Gas, gas rod, and that's a party. And there's a hole at the top of the barrel that your gas shoots out of. So, the more the more hole you have, the more oh. What'd you do? I'm going to tighten that down first. That's all right. I can do that now. Told you I wasn't a gunsmith. using 
my Typhoon tool. It's been a because long time since I've shot that. This Typhoon is awesome. And I just brought my F-12 back from um, Ohio. I was actually just there with a friend of mine, Ryan. Took me out, uh, took me out turkey hunting. You guys won't see any of that footage because we saw a little bit of uh, blah blah blah. Well, you know, maybe I'll tack a little bit on uh, uh, on this video, like right here. Um, me and my buddy Ryan are out here turkey hunting, and uh, we're gonna see what we can get today. I don't know. Apparently, there hasn't been a whole lot of movement, but uh, you know, maybe we'll see something. Maybe you guys will. Uh, get to see me bag my first turkey ever so stay tuned So what'd you think? I didn't see a whole lot of anything, but it was you know, fun. it's fun to it's fun to sit in the blind with your buddy and and uh, talk smack and have fun. Well, let's see if I can't get this thing straight, eh? Minnesota, eh? Yeah, eh? Don't channel. It's gonna be close-ish. It should be up and down, right? Yeah. It needs to be up and down. Why do I have stuff all over this? I thought I saw something. Yeah. Mm, she sure is pretty. I'll just wipe it off on my car hearts. All right. And then make me try to get it out. On my car hearts? I don't care if it's on my car hearts. What do I do in those? Snow Snow low. Low. <laughs> Don't scratch it. So then what? So then, a little bit of luck and... So do I use this nut now? Where did I put it? Came with it, yeah, but... Now where do I put this? Do I put it before the nut? First, I don't know. I've never seen that. I mean, not that. Tell me if I'm doing this right, guys. I don't know.
It's not an easy task. There we go. If it comes loose, it comes loose. We'll have to figure it out. Figure it out! Come on. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's sweet. So, okay. Um, the unfortunate thing about this barrel is it's a 223 Wild. Where this is a 556 five, NATO. Not really much difference, really. You can actually Look see more. at that. You can actually see more through it than I thought you'd be able to. That is serious fancy. Offhand Gear just released a uh, new handrail, so go check them out. Man, they got some super cool stuff too. I, I mean, I don't know if you guys have if you guys have uh, checked out Offhand Gear um, or or Unique ARs, um, but I uh, highly suggest both of them. They got some really cool stuff. Um, the offhand gear is very focused towards uh, women, female shooters, women and their rifles. So, uh, for you ladies out there, get out there and shoot. Have a good time. Make your AR your own. That's what I want to do, and I think it's gone pretty well. If you ask me. So, as you guys may have seen on our Facebook page, uh, I said some uh, some cool stuff was coming. So my AR, I I like it. It's a good rifle. Okay, specify. Okay, I have an Alex Pro which is made in Alexandria, Minnesota. Um, I wanted a Springfield Saint originally when I bought it. Uh, the rep talked me into it and I love it. It's a wonderful rifle, never failed. No problems whatsoever. But, it's boring. And you guys have seen it before, it's just got the, the handrail is boring. So, I got some new stuff to customize it, <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to do something really cool to it, and I can't tell you. So uh, for you people that have been with us all along, you probably are like, what? Because Dan always says he doesn't yeah. customize his. No customize. <laughs> <laughs> but I think once I got going, it kind of opened, opened his mine to the options well <clears throat> the biggest reason i want to do it now is because uh holding this and feeling the weight of the of the new stuff on it man it, i like a i like a heavier ar and the way that this came especially it had the old 1960s M16 handguard on it, and it was hideous, you know? And even Carissa looked at it and was like, I hate that rifle. I hate it. <laughs> and then I told her to order custom parts for it and change it and turn it into what she wants. And now she loves this thing. Yeah, well, it's, there's not, that's one of a kind, you know? I mean, and I it's guess not, it's likely, I mean, it's unlikely that somebody has done exactly what I've done to it. 
And it's not done yet. No, you know, but I it's mean, getting there's, there. There's a couple little pieces from Timber Creek that I... That, That's going to uh, look really cool in the we sun. We still want to add to it. Seeing but. that that diamond behind that. <clears throat> Pretty gorgeous. Hold it up. Be a manly man. <laughs> See, it's just so loud. Woo! Why don't you hold it up? Well. Because I'm a lefty. Beautiful. There it is. Yeah. Mid-state firearms, offhand gear, Timber Creek, Vortex. Magpul. And Magpul and uh, Smith and & Wesson. And coated arms. And coated arms and unique AR. Pretty sweet. I love it. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you all next time.